We've all heard the fable about the boy who cried wolf, one of Aesop's best, I think. <laughs> but this sort of the opposite of all that about the dog that cried help. That's right, the dog that cried help. Listen, it's out there somewhere with George Estella. <laughs> this is not surprising for Augusta's animal shelter. You get a bunch of dogs together, you hear a lot of this. <laughs> But one bark sounded the alarm. I tried to get some other employees to come back and see if they heard what I heard. <laughs> you didn't believe it yourself? No. What was heard was this little guy named Scooby, who for the last month has been barking for help. When I heard him barking, I thought I had to turn around and look to see if somebody was behind me. And I had to walk back and just seen him just barking it out. So little Scooby can bark talk, and he has all the answers. Well, let's put Scooby to the test. Scooby, Timmy's playing around the well, falls in. What do you do? <coughs> well, that's sort of in a dog's wheelhouse. Let's try another. Okay, Scooby. This will be harder. Trivia. National League RBI leader 50 years ago. Scooby, you can answer. Or do you want to use that lifeline? <coughs> Music. Scooby? Your favorite Beatles movie. <laughs> Scooby's big football fan surprisingly doesn't like the Bulldogs. He likes South Carolina, but he knows Spurrier needs this. <laughs> Scooby is really into local politics. Scooby, what about the commission? What do they need? <laughs> Scooby, a lot of rain in the forecast. What should George Myers call for? <laughs> now, Scooby is here in doggy detention, but would love to get a real home. But he can't do it alone. He needs your... <laughs> Out there somewhere in Augusta, George Escola, <laughs> WJBF News Channel 6. <laughs> He's saying help. Smart He's saying dog. <laughs> He'll get adopted soon, I bet. <laughs>